Right, okay, guys, welcome back for another video. Uh, we're out, we haven't been out for a few weeks, so I thought I would get the bike out. It's been stuck in the shed. Uh, we've been busy doing some building work here, as you can see. All floors muddy as hell. Back wheel's absolutely mudded up, if you can see that. It's disgusting. So I need to go take her for a wash. And before that, I'm going to fit the Evotec um, quad lock phone hold out which is brand new i've just got a link for it it's the uh evo tech performance if you want to go on their website check it out it's got the vibration dampener on which i brought separate and it comes with the quad lock holder now you do need the quad lock case for this which you can get from quadlockcase.com.co.uk whatever it is uh to go with this system so we're just going to fit this and we'll check it out see what it's like you're going to need an allen key for this probably a tall one uh, just to be able to get all the way down you don't scratch your uh, tank. <laughs> Okay, I thought I'd speed that up for you, get it over and done with. So I've just done it hand tight. Uh, I wasn't sure if I'd need some uh, longer bolts or not, because you do for the Kawasaki GPS mount, but these have just used the original bolts, and it's gone in quite good. I've just done it hand tight. Uh, now, this doesn't come assembled when you buy it. I've had to assemble it, but it's dead easy. Um, pretty much just get some torque screws there to hold it in place. Now, uh, how good's that? Check that out. I always prefer my phone that way, I mean. But yeah, really liking that. It's a lot sturdier. The Telfryzer was sturdy, don't get me wrong, but um, this just looks a lot cleaner to me. Anyway, right, we're going to go out for a ride. Probably going to take the bike for a wash. Uh, go for a sandwich somewhere, breakfast sandwich, and uh, let's go. Right, okay, so a little bit of a change of plan. Uh, I was going to go wash my bike first to clean that back wheel off, but when I got to the garage, it was... Uh, absolutely busy so we're gonna go for a sandwich first if it's open i think it closes at about 12 o'clock and it's half 11 now if he's had a quiet day he might be going home but let's go in and check it out pj snap van and it's open there's loads of people here look Hello, hello, hello. Coming to look at my bike. It's a bit dirty today, but. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? It's uh, it's ridiculously mucky though. All wheels are muddy. Back wheels muddy. Seats muddy. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking it for a wash, but I thought I'd try and get a sandwich first, but. Lovely bike, innit? Right, beefy, yeah. I needed a, I'm beefy, so I needed a beefy bike. It's lovely in the sun. When it's in the sun, it shines like a nice metallic colour. Hey, up. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, Z thousands have got one at both sides, yeah. Hey, up. I'm all right, hey, up. Z900. Yeah. I've seen the picture. As soon as I pulled up, he's like, oh, what's this? Look at this. Show me a picture of your bike. Look at that, Bob. It's Rurock, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I've just bought it. Yeah, yeah. Just first time out on it today. Oh, that there. You've even got bloody camera built in. Yeah, I, I do YouTube videos, don't I? So, when it take it all off, it looks all right. It's not a deep green though. It looks deep when it's there, right? But as soon as sun's out, it's a right nice like lime green. Well, the thing is, it's really muddy, so you can't see properly. But um, yeah, it's a nice metallic green. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You, 
Yeah, definitely, absolutely. I'll let you on. <laughs> you, sir, you asked me before, but the problem is I'd not had anyone back before. So I said to Stacey, I'll take her first and then uh, see what we're like after. Let's have a look at yours and have you got a picture of yours at 900? Camera? Oh, yeah, outside, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the Z900s, I love them uh, naked. Oh, you got Acapovic on it as well. Is that performance edition? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screen up front and stuff, yeah. I got two in on mine, but I ain't come out with panniers on today, so. What is it? It's just uh, S, I think, SC project. SP? SC. SC. Alright, oh, 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 popping that, that'll be loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off for a new cam for this, but I can't make my mind up yet. I just, I keep looking at them and I can't make my mind up. Yeah. Well, I was going to get a tail tidy and then winter came in. So I thought, I'll leave it on for the time being, because it gets muddy. Yeah. I'll put a tail tidy on when summer comes around next time. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of all that, because it's really extended on Z900, isn't it? But, yeah. Oh, I got that. That you got a radiator yeah, guard. Yeah, yeah, it looks smart, that radiator guard as well. Yeah, nice bike, that. Looks better when it's cleaned up. It still looks good now. <laughs> it still looks good now. Yeah, cracking, mate. Yeah. Okay, I I, we just need your detailing skills on it. Hey, whatever you need, no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> What is it, that? Aprilia oh, Turner. Alright, oh, oh Aprilia Turner, yeah, yeah. The V twin one, the V four. How is it? Are you still got that now? No, no, I got rid of that. I got, uh, to get the Z900? Uh, on the sale then. CBR 1000, I had that. And then I got uh, this one, I got one. Yeah. So I had, I used to have, I only passed my test a few years ago. I've heard loads of bikes, don't get me wrong, but. Uh, I used to have the 650 before this, and I love the 650 because with a 650 you can really tan it and not worry about being overpowered. Now with a thousand, I can tan it, but I can't over tan it. Yeah, the 140 horsepower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you can't, you can't, you just can't give it as much beans as you can like a 650. You can really get throttle back on them and not be too worried about it, you know. But um, oh yeah, it shifts. Yeah, it's got all traction control, yeah. It's got all... Uh, has yours got the new TFT on with Electronic TFT? Oh, yeah. Have yours got that, the Z900? Oh, just got ABS. She's got, she's got ABS? Oh, yeah. Have you seen new T, TFT screens? Oh, yeah. My dad says that the more, the more smart stuff you get on it, the more stuff to go wrong, but I love this screen, mate. It again. Just a TFT screen, isn't it? But really, so clear to read. Everything's there. I love it. It's amazing. Yeah, they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still the same bike, just not not screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, cracking. We've got all the family up here, then having sandwiches. Yeah, adjustable uh, back suspension, yeah. Yeah, I haven't really read manual, to be fair. That manual just goes straight in the bin. <laughs> but yeah, cracking. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people complain about these because they look silly, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, but they're just massive out there, they stand out. So everyone keeps telling me, like, take it off, it looks daft. You go on YouTube, you yeah, yeah, i got a YouTube channel, yeah. I, have two, I, 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 yeah, I review bikes and stuff, so... What's your name, what's your name on YouTube? Turbo Tony. Turbo? Turbo Tony. Turbo, oh, right. No, no, Turbo. Turbo Tony. Oh, Turbo Tony. Yeah, <laughs> just said Turbo. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go decat. I'm going to get a new exhaust. I'm thinking about getting... I was going to get an Acropovic, but... If you go decat, you might have to go on uh, one of them things. 
Yeah, rolling road. Yeah, yeah jo Jordan's yeah. Got ro Jordan's rolling road, but it costs about 350 quid. And they told me you'd only get about 10, 15 brake horsepower at absolute most with the decat. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. Well, let's get a sandwich anyway. That's what I've come up here for. <laughs> Is he here today? PJ! How are you, man? I'm alright, mate. Are you? Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Time you're closing today? Be about uh, one and a half past. Alright. I thought you'd already be close, to be fair, but. The plan is today, sandwich, clean my bike, so... Yeah. Nah, I'm alright mate, I'll just have a sausage and egg if that's alright. Yeah, please. Have you looked at an eBay for Rural Academy's come up? Rural. Rural Motorcycle, Are you buying one? No, well, no, no, I was gonna do I got managed to get £100 off this one on Black Friday deal. So I thought, oh, why not? Let's just order it. Yeah, yeah, they're a lot of money. Oh, shit. Kickstand. We always do a kickstand fail, don't we? No problem over. Well, all bikers have turned up. I was going to take a video of my sandwich. Bacon and egg. Great sandwich. PJ snap run. Just out of unfair as you're going up towards Old Moss. Make sure you call in and get some snap if you're coming this way. If you're not in UK, you're not a rider, fair enough. It's them that are in uh, America and whatnot. Put my visor down. Stop all this wind getting in. Right, it, look, it kind of looks like weather's going to change pretty soon. We are um, in the winter here in the UK. If you're not from the UK, uh, it might look kind of sunny, but... Um, it's not warm, it's pretty cold here today. Um, you know, you got all the leaves falling off the trees, it gets icy on a night, raining nearly every single day. We've only got one day today where the sun's actually come out and it looks pretty good, so I thought I'd jump on bike really quick, give it a blast around. I need to take it home, give it a clean, ceramic it, um, do all the chain and whatnot, ready for all the winter. So, yeah, it's... Uh, a bit dangerous to be fair, you might think, oh it's a nice sunny day today, it looks alright, but problem is, you know, there's wet surfaces everywhere, slippery, because of leaves and whatnot. But anyway, safety first. Right, so for any of our American friends, get a lot of American viewers on here. We are in the heart of Home Firth. Home Firth is the uh, location setting for Last of the Summer Wine, which is a massive hit over there in America. You might recognise the Sid's Cafe and stuff there. Corner. Middle of Home Firth. Uh, lovely little village. It's only a small place. We've pretty much rode through it already, but... Um, most of the settings for the TV series are up on top of the hills, uh, here, there and all over. I think the main spot in Old Firth is literally Sid's Cafe down there where they do tour stuff from. But yeah, it's a lovely little village. Cars pulling out in front of us. We're not racing around today, like I said, weather's been atrocious recently. We're just going to go on a little run. Rump biking, so we're not being on it for a while. And then... Uh, see where we're going so as well we are on the GoPro Hero 9 here uh, one of the reasons I've not been able to do a video for the last couple of weeks 
is because I bought a GoPro Hero 9 uh, and traded my other GoPro in uh, and basically I didn't have a microphone that worked with this but they did an upgrade on it uh, we've done an update on the GoPro Hero 9 my microphone now works with it so we can do regular videos I'm not sure what it looks like I'm hoping that the uh, footage will be better with it being an updated uh, camera we'll see we'll look back in a bit and we'll see what it's like as you can see on roads here it's just crap all over the roads You've got to be so careful in winter time especially when they're gritting on a night because there's just grit everywhere and that grit comes off your tires gets into all your little metal work uh, you know on your exhaust and all over it, it gets stuck in all little cracks and crannies and uh, it just rusts everything it's absolutely horrible that's why a lot of us UK put us bikes away for winter it's, it's not because they don't dare ride in it it's because it's dangerous, you know. You also, your bike gets knackered, so... A lot of people really care for the bikes. Not that I do it, but... I absolutely do. I need to take it for a clean yet, this. It's absolutely dirty. Dirtier the better. Mucky. Anyway, earlier on we put this EvoTech um, phone holder on. Doing pretty well actually. I like the angle that it gives. It's not moving at all. Me, uh, my other phone holder had a little bit of movement in it. It was strong and it was solid, but it had a little bit of movement in it. It was annoying me. I got sent this link for this. I thought I'd try it out. So this is the EvoTech Performance Quad Lock phone holder, if you can see that. I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want one. I'm not sure if they're just a UK company or not. I don't know about that. I'll tell you what, let's go up over the tops. Let's head towards Wakefield, up this way. A little bit windy. It's always windy. Yorkshire. Yorkshire born and bred. Oh look, we've got a Sunday driver. It's all good, dead slow. Doing 40 in the 50 zone, stuck behind some traffic. Seen summertime now, I wouldn't be scared of doing overtake, but when it's winter and there's crap all over the road, just gotta think twice about it, you know. I think I'm going to stick my grips on, it's a little bit cold today. And I'm going to hang back a little bit because this car in front of me, this blue BMW is uh, throwing bits of uh, road chippings up at me. Don't want it scratching my paint. I 
Emily Moore mast over there, if you can see that. Through the trees. Right in the thick of West Yorkshire. Which I don't think my accent's that bad, but I keep getting told that uh, can't always tell what I'm saying, you know. Yorkshire accent and that. Strong in arm and thick in head. Right, okay, I was going to head towards Wakefield, but uh, I've changed my mind. We're going to go left at this junction, and this should take us back down through Shepley, uh, through Waterloo, and back down to Huddersfield Town Centre, where there shouldn't be as much wind, and it's a nice long road. Slow down. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't want YouTube uh, commenters on me back again. I'm interested to uh, see if you can hear the exhaust noises through this helmet. I'm rocking the new Rurock carbon helmet. And I'll tell you what, it's a really nice helmet. It's so light on my head. I've got no pressure points at all anywhere. It just fits my head absolutely spot on. They're a lot of money as well, you know. They're uh, when they're not on sale or on offer, they're sort of about 350 quid, depending on which helmet you want. Some of them are a tad more. Uh, luckily, I got this on the uh, Black Friday sale. I got it for 250 some pound, with a few other bits and bobs. I think you got a good deal. Looks the part as well. Get everyone looking at you. Oh, lovely helmet, love that helmet. As the guy was saying, I went for a sandwich, you were going, you were looking at him as well, weren't you? He was saying on his phone. Hopefully, we've persuaded him to uh, buy one. So, a little bit of a channel update as well. Um, as you know, I've not been uploading for the last few weeks. I've uh, got my finished, managed to finally get my GoPro sorted with a good mic on it now. So we can start uploading regularly. As long as the weather's going to be all right, we are in the thick of... I know it's sunny, it's quite sunny today, but we are in the thick of winter here. And uh, the weather it usually is raining every day in England. Terrible weather. So if we've got clear days, I'm going to be uploading. Um, I do have a load of uh, test rides and reviews to do. I've got an MT-09 to do, possibly MT-07 to do. I've got to go over to Sheffield. I've got the uh, um, KTM Super Duke to do, which I'm absolutely looking forward to. I actually started doing the review on the KTM Super Duke uh, before lockdown, and then lockdown hit, and then ended up catching COVID. Yes, I caught COVID. COVID-19. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. And um, 
so I, I started doing that and then I had to put that on hold and uh, I need to ring them back up and book some more dates in for finishing that the KTM Super Duke off which I, I'll tell you what I, I, every time I see a KTM Super Duke on the road the, 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 the look of it the headlights sort of put me off a little bit but when I were on that bike we were being a twin cylinder um, what a bike it sounds absolutely mean it looked amazing he's just overtaking everyone he doesn't care I'm too busy talking anyway um, so yeah I've got a lot to look forward to that's going to be a really good review hopefully uh, fingers crossed <coughs> excuse me and um, I've got a few others coming up as well which I'm waiting on confirmation on um, which hopefully should be really interesting as well come 2021 next year uh, get sort of January, February out of way when we have the worst weather in, in the UK around February time so maybe around March time I've got so many videos planned um, hopefully if all that all goes to plan we're going to have a really good um, channel creator next year I think one of the biggest things that I want to cover other than bike reviews is sort of security <coughs> there's a lot of bikes getting nicked here in the UK especially down south of London they're getting stolen all the time they're not stealing them from uh, people's houses they're stealing them when you're out on them they just kick you off bike and take your bike so we'll talk about that quite a bit so honestly I've got loads and loads of stuff planned for next year but at the moment we don't even know what's going to happen next year right? we just we don't even know what's going on with Covid we don't know what the UK government's got planned they keep putting these lockdowns over here it's just a fucking nightmare, honestly. So if you're overseas, you're in the USA or you're in India or you get a lot of viewers from India. I don't know how you've got it over there, but uh, it's absolutely terrible here. My industry is completely closed down. I've been working at nightclubs and a DJ. And uh, what the fuck's going on here? Must have some traffic lights further on. So yeah, I'm a DJ and my industry has absolutely come to a complete stop I haven't actually worked as a DJ now since March of 2020 which has been uh, we're on 8 months ago, 8, 9 months ago even longer, 10 months ago oh my god, it's ridiculous so imagine being out of work for sort of 9, 10 months, it's, it's nuts we've had not hardly any help either from uh, from the government nightclubs are closing down left right and centre um, I can't really see what's going on around this corner so I'm not going to have a tech car behind me sound so yeah Covid's a real blast at the moment honestly it's doing everybody I, I know a lot of people are struggling I did catch Covid I, uh, I was really ill, it started off with headaches, I started off with <clears throat> mild headaches at first uh, and then they just got worse and worse over a couple of days and I, I couldn't stop myself from feeling tired so I was going to bed constantly uh, you know I'd go to bed at say 6 o'clock in the evening, I'd sleep 12 hours, 13 hours, get up have a bit of breakfast, couldn't eat properly go back to bed, uh, you know I'd sleep another 10 hours, wake up I will literally sleep all the time and then from headaches, after about a week, it went. I had sore throat. I, I couldn't really eat properly because of it. I had f funny taste in my mouth. Um, when I was breathing in, it felt like fire in my mouth. Uh, so that was horrible as well. I was absolutely freezing, and then I was red hot. I was coming down with the fever. Oh my god, it lasted for about three weeks. Honestly and uh, luckily I pulled out of it even though I've got like lung problems I've got asthma and stuff but luckily I pulled through it but anyway I don't want to put a negativity on this video I'm just giving you an update because I've not uploaded <coughs> for uh, for so long and uh, luckily I'm curvy free I'm still suffering effects from it I still keep getting a little cough every now and again and uh, doctors reckon that I'll have that now for a few months but anyhow, I'm feeling better. This fucking murder actually made him. 
probably end up cutting this out of the video. Well, anyway, we've managed to get through all that road works. We had one set of lights, then we had another set of lights, then we had another set of lights. It took me about 15 minutes to get through that bloody uh, queue of traffic. <coughs> Excuse me, what? Anyway, we're out enjoying a good ride. On the Ninja 1000, which is my favourite bike the whole world. And trust me, I've rode a lot of bikes. It's so smooth and so easy to handle and like the tech on it. It's right up my street. Hold on, I'm turning left here. Too much talking, I went past me uh, junction. Another biker. Nodded, but he didn't nod back. I don't think he gives a shit. Sun's looking quite low on the horizon, it's only half 12 in day. Don't forget going up this hill, it's going to blind us. We shall see. I could so easily overtake this car if I wanted. I need to learn to do the Max Pass where I like really pass them and look at them at the same time. <laughs> you ever watch Max, uh, Max Wrist on YouTube? He loves that Max Pass, doesn't he? If you haven't watched Max Wrist on YouTube, give him a watch. Every single video is a motorbiker crashes. Fuck me, man, that's funny. So, I was going to go down into Huddersfield through Shepley. We've had a change of plan. We've come back up through Family Tyres. I'm going to drop down um, through Honley, where I live at the moment. I'm going to, going to give the bike a quick wash. It's annoying me that I know I've got mud on my back wheel. And all up back of my seat and just need to clean. We're just going to put it through a car wash. And then I'm going to give it a better clean when I get home in a bit. I just want to get all the mud off it. Give it a hand wash then when we get home later. Only problem is all my <coughs> garden at the moment um, is absolutely mudded up really bad. So 
Giving it a wash probably would be no good, so I'll just get it muddled up again when I get home. But let's do it anyway. Freedom. I'm so wanting to tan this bike at the moment. Really need to wait for all the roads to dry up before we do that. I don't know if you can see it roads right well there because I've got this camera on super view, but it's just muck all over the roads, all down the middle, all down the side. Everything's wet through and with it icing up on and out and that. All it takes is for one little corner to be in its shadow all night. Get a bit of black ice and that's it, game over. So it's just not worth it at the moment. Can't for a bit of countryside, eh? Get a lot of comments off American uh, people asking me to show them countryside around here. I think we'll do that again one day. We'll uh, go over at Tops, over at Pennines. <clears throat> we'll have a really good look at countryside. Some very nice places. See, look at all the mud down this road. It's horrible. It's just full of mud, mud everywhere. It's a slip just waiting to happen. Doesn't help with all farms being here, coming down at tractors and that. like I'm dancing on ice on the, down this road. It's steep and it's slippery. So hopefully this car wash is going to be free this time. I feel back in slipping. Sorry mate, cheers. Sorry there was a load of mud on the floor then and my back end was slipping while I was trying to turn the corner. <coughs> Bit dangerous really. Try and stick to the main roads I think. So we'll turn around at the middle of the road. Can we go past? Yes, I think we can. I don't believe it, it's still busy with people washing the cars. Ah. Shouldn't take long, I don't think. We'll get queued up.
See where we're at. Straight away. Say that again, sorry. So, um, uh, 11,999, and then I got a touring pack on it, so that was like another grand for touring pack, you know, panniers and stuff. Yeah, pretty much, thereabouts. I know, uh, yeah. I've had to. I <laughs> I'm trying to get out, there's only a couple of days when it's clean, isn't it? So. Oh, you've got a gold ring with big plastics on front, yeah. CD player and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. My girlfriend would love that back seat's got armrests on it. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I haven't got armrests on mine because I will ask us to pack it off. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get it pushed out. Thank you. It's easy just to push it out. Put kicks down down. Ah. Cars outside. Try and get a flat bit. Yeah, I think that'll do. Perfect. Good little number there. So, just quick oversight. The uh, EvoTech phone holder. See if we can get it off. A little bit wet there, but a good little number is that. I like it. It's uh, quirky. Looks good. Does the job, it's not as big as the Kawasaki GPS mount, but literally two bolts. The bolts are already supplied, you need Allen key for it, and then uh, that's it, you're good to go. I would highly recommend this. Get it tightened up, it's absolutely solid and secure. So, if you haven't already got one of these, uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the Evertech Performance Quad Lock Phone Holder. Uh, go check it out. Let's have another look around the back. Still a little bit of mud on wheels, but not half as bad as what it was. Looks loads cleaner. Should angle up, film that a bit. Yeah, that's loads better, isn't it? All mud off seats gone. Back tyres a bit cleaner. Just needs a quick detail up now, and that'll be it for the day, I think. Take me the rest of the day to do it. Uh, let's not get it wrong, you know, stock exhaust still sounds good. I could do with a decat on it, I could do a taking decat off and getting another uh, slip on really, but I'm waiting for Lextech to R&D theirs, they're not ready yet. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe, peace!